things we might consider impossible never ceased to happen around us. A girl was abandoned by her parents. Later, it was discovered she was pregnant with her brother. Kang Mengru was born in Henan province, located in the central part of China, and a place that is also recognized as where Chinese civilization began. Three days after she was born, the little girl was abandoned in a field by her biological parents. Some reports believe that she was dropped in the field because her parents couldn't cater to her financially. Fortunately, she was found by farmer Wang Guiha. Wang had finished at the farm on this day and was heading back home when she heard a baby crying in the open field. She moved closer and saw the young child wrapped up in some clothes. The Chinese woman stated that she waited for an hour, hoping to see if anyone would come to collect the baby. While waiting, she picked the baby up to comfort her and she felt an instant connection with the child. She said she felt like the girl was calling out to her. After no one came for the baby, she decided to take the infant to her house. Wang and her husband, Kuang Chi Qing, are lifelong farmers. The couple had been married for over eight years, but they never had a child. They had resigned to fate that they would never have children, not until now. They believed the girl was the child they had been yearning for. The couple had prayed for many years to have their offspring, and now they were both convinced that Kang was the answer to their prayers. The farmers took care of the girl and decided to adopt her. Although the adoption process was quite difficult, the couple persevered. They had to undergo various checks to prove that they are fit to be parents. Thankfully, they passed them. Kang found a home she could call her own. The young girl got along well with other children in the small mountain village where they resigned, and she was loved by everyone else as well. However, after some time, things turned sour for the little girl and her family. Her mother said, I was happy. My husband was happy. Kang was the daughter God gave us. Everyone in the village loved my daughter. She was good friends with all the other girls, and our village is not very big. So everyone knows each other and also helps you to look after your child. But suddenly, my daughter's belly started getting bigger. I thought maybe she was just adding weight, but it only got bigger and bigger. So that's when things changed. The girl's stomach continued to expand so much that she drew taunts from neighbors and friends who branded her a monster. Everyone started saying different things about her. They started treating her badly. Some parents did not allow their children to play with her, and she's just a small girl. I and her father were very worried because she started crying every night. She could not sleep as she was always in pain. She started finding it difficult to walk, and after some time, she could no longer eat any solid food. We had to take her to the hospital, Wang said. Kang was taken to the hospital, where the doctor performed numerous tests on the 18-month-old to find out what the problem was. The physician realized that the reason for the girl's protruding belly is an extremely rare condition, which affects one in 500,000 births. They told Kang's parents that their daughter was pregnant. How could that be possible? How could a girl who has not even celebrated her second birthday be carrying a baby. Wang said, when the doctor said that Kang was pregnant, I thought to myself that they had made a mistake. It is not possible. Kang cannot be pregnant, except it's some type of miracle. Doctors told the girl's parents that she is a twin and that her condition is called fetus in fetu. It's an anomaly in which one baby is swallowed by the other. This is a condition in which a malformed and parasitic fetus is located in the body of its twin. The World Health Organization considers a tiny fetus found with an infant to be a kind of teratoma or tumor, rather than a normally developing fetus. Sometimes the congenital anomaly remains asymptomatic and doesn't appear until later ages. The doctor stated that the young girl must have survived by developing a new umbilical cord directly into the more developed twin's blood supply. However, now that the unborn twin was growing inside her, it was crushing her organs as it grew. I was shocked because I had never heard something like that. I told them it was impossible. How could it be possible? We never knew that Kang was a twin, and to hear that she was carrying her twin made it even more bizarre. My wife and I thought that we might lose our daughter and we love her very much. But the doctor said there was a solution. The girl's father said, doctors told the farmers that their daughter needs surgery immediately, otherwise she would not survive. However, Wang and her partner are just farmers with a combined income of 400 pounds a year. Kang's surgery cost twice more than that amount. 
they couldn't afford the £1,000 operation that their daughter so desperately needed. The future looked so bleak for the Chinese girl and her family. They had no family members that they could reach out to to raise the money, especially as they needed it very soon. So guess what? The hospital staff went the extra length for the girl. They helped to get the Red Cross involved and also started a GoFundMe page to raise the amount needed for the operation. Isn't that amazing? I told my wife that the doctors and nurses are our guardian angels. Their kindness surprised me and also all the people who heard about Kang's story and decided to help us. I thank them all. Without their help, we might not have been able to do the surgery, Kuang said. It took 10 hours of complex surgery to take out the tumor, but thankfully there were no complications. Doctors told the girl's parents that their daughter can return home in a couple of weeks. Chief Surgeon Dr. Zhang Zhuidong explained, The girl's parents did not have enough money for the surgery, but we knew that we had to find a way to help her. We needed to take action immediately, because without the surgery, Kang would not have survived. There are very few instances when the tumor will lodge in the baby's head, sacrum, scrotum, and even the mouth. Dr. Zhang stated that he realized they had to step in and help the family because the young girl was in a very delicate condition, and he was taken aback by the support they got from people. I'm happy we were able to get the money in a short period of time. The girl and her family are blessed and lucky. Her parents brought her in at just the right time. Any delay could have permanent consequences. She will be able to go home at the end of the month with her mother, Wang Guiha, and her father, Quang Qixing. There was a very real risk of cardiac arrest. The pressure within the child's chest and belly were very great, but now she is out of danger. The girl would be able to live and enjoy her life like other children from now on. I am happy we were able to help achieve that. Wang was overwhelmed with the support that Kang got. The little girl was saved by numerous kind-hearted people who were touched by her story. We are very grateful. We were so worried she would die. All these people have never met us, and they still chose to help my daughter. Before, she used to cry in pain and hold her bump like a pregnant woman. Now, we can hope that she can have a normal life, like other children. Kang has since returned to her village in Henan province and is doing well. She can now eat solid food and do the other things she couldn't do before. Her mother said, she doesn't understand what has happened to her, but she is happy. She still has a womb and ovaries, so one day she will be able to have children of her own. Kang's story is proof that every act of kindness can make a major difference. Which part of this story did you find the most interesting? Till next time, stay safe.